Okay, my short presentation about building an IoT system, making use of the of Arduino a family of products is not just, not about a product; it's more about a platform consisting of software, hardware, and a community of users together building on all kinds of systems. Uh, when talking about IoT, there's some consensus that we should think in in terms of layers. We we'll talk about Arduino. Um, I make use of Arduinos in building a, a smart camp, making a use of the possibilities of the Arduino uh, platform. Uh, smart camp in Croatia, we have a camp with all kinds of sleeping facilities, and they need heating. They need to be uh, the heating system need to be controlled because of uh, the electricity system, which is uh, uh, not that stable. So, it wants to be it manageable by an uh, uh, IoT system. Uh, when I build this system, I also make use of the layers of the IoT. In level one, physical devices, which are uh, an DHT11, which is a temperature and humidity sensor. Uh, I use the Arduino Uno as a microcontroller. I use an, uh, an other microcontroller, an ASP8266, which makes connection to Wi-Fi. It's able to send data through Wi-Fi. But I also need a 4G router because of lack of land lines. We have more land mines than we have land lines. So, and I need an, an heater, several heaters as devices. I need to switch to put the heating system on or off. But these are the devices level two. I need to be connected these devices with each other and with the world. So I need a Wi-Fi and I need a 4G. Um, the edge computing takes place within the microcontrollers the two that which I mentioned uh, and level four there is uh, data accumulation data storage in a database in a MySQL system database system which is uh, and I'm using a PHP script to send the data to the from the microcontroller or let's say from the, the network to the database uh, level five the data needs to be read by an other application and create a nice view so the data abstraction needs to take place in level six uh, five um, building a website um, uh, which processes a nice view of the temperature and the humidity in the all, all places and also a switch is also part of the view to be possible to put the heating on or from a distance on level six uh, the there is some reporting to do uh, analytics of the of the temperature humidity through time uh, and level seven collaboration i have myself as administrator i have to guess in the camp but these are not really uh, part of the system as they are making not use of the system they just being part of, part of uh, the camp they are not making use not pushing the buttons let's say part of the complete system we have the DHT uh, sending input to the microcontroller you see the numbers the one means level one and three level three so level one the physical devices we have six we have DHT the microcontrollers two Wi-Fi uh, module and a uh, 4G router and a delay and, and a relay and a switch and a heating thing the six are connected through Wi-Fi level two building the Wi-Fi connection and the 4G router level three we have the the edge computing through the microcontroller and the hp uh, the the green arrows showing the how data is sent from the dht to the microcontroller to the wifi system to the 4g uh, sending as a variable through our input uh, as an input in our application the application sends this input to the database in a certain time frame and the database is uh, through a request from another application uh, sending the data to the application and um, pre presenting the data in a nice view view is sent to the user the users which is the administrator which is me in this case i have a possibility to to see the switch and to put things on off or off uh, that means i am sending data an on off uh, signal like a zero or one is sending to the database uh, this input is sent to the 4g into the wi-fi to the microcontroller brick and uh, 
microcontroller sending this signal to the, the switch and the switch puts the heating on or off. Uh, that's the yellow, this is in general the flow chart. Are there any privacy concerns? No, not really, because there, in case of transparent communication, there should not, not be any privacy concern. I'm not making use of the of, of privacy details from individuals. Uh, yes, there is a uh, privacy concern in case of security breach. The system making use of Wi-Fi and 4G and the guests in the camp make use of the same system. Someone with bad intentions can try to hack the system. Yeah, okay, can maybe lead to uh, privacy concerns if they get access to devices which are also connected to this system, to the, to the network. What happens when internet connection lost? There's no option then to go in manual mode. I need to, to switch on the heating by, uh, by hand. Manual. Uh, case two, a device stops working. If a device stops working, as you can see in the flowchart, everything stops. It's just a one, one way uh, uh, path uh, circle. If, if there's one link in the circle lacking, then the circle doesn't flow. The data does not flow through the circle. Thus, every device is a critical link. Uh, so the only options again go in manual mode. In case three, users give conflicting commands. Uh, this is only possible if manual mode is activated together with online digital mode. So when you have uh, manual mode, means then you can put the switch uh, on off from uh, the heating system by guests in the camp. While I'm from my system, I'm trying to put the heating on uh, through the website. Then uh, that should not be possible. So I should disable this option.